you were working at, at Buck Island Ranch, and you were at you were at Archbold having lunch, and Hillary said, Joe, there's someone you need to meet. Hillary's like, yeah, you got to meet this guy studying bears here on these ranches. And I'm like, what? Bears and ranches? I'm an eighth generation Floridian, and I didn't even know we had bears on ranches. Florida black bear, it's been very much a, a big piece of what we've been working on. And so we're very mindful of the need to connect the different parts from, from the big cypress up to Chazawiska over to Ocala, all the way up to Osceola, and then all the way over to Apalachicola and to Eglin and the Panhandle. We want to connect all those populations. The Florida black bear is most interesting to me in terms of how it travels. One particular animal we put a radio collar on was M34. M34 we caught in October 2009 in a part of the, the county where we'd not really documented very many bears. And in 2010, he took off, started in Sebring, and tracked northeast across Avon Park Air Force Bombing Range, continued up into Osceola County, close to Yeehaw Junction, Lake Marion, then to Lake Kissimmee, around the south end of Lake Kissimmee, where he swam across the river, back over toward the Lake Wales Ridge, up through Lake Wales, frostproof. He got all the way to I-4. He couldn't get across I-4, hanging out there at Celebration. And then he kind of turned south and back down the ridge, back across Avon Park Air Force Bombing Range. He found the Kissimmee River there and followed it all the way to Lake Okeechobee. Once he got to Lake Okeechobee, he headed west into Charlotte County and the Babcock Ranch finally turned back to the east and came back into uh, Glades and Highlands County within about 25 or 30 miles of where he was originally caught. In total, it was about 500 miles between May 8th and July 8th in 2010. Some of the conservation lands that our bears are visiting are private lands. They're on conservation easement, and the people are managing them for a variety of wildlife, deer, turkey, quail. There's a natural uh, state left there, and bears are visiting. And uh, we had a female that denned in uh, some private land just uh, east of here on a private property that's in a conservation easement. For us, it's real important because the more room they have to move and transition from one area to the other and one population to another, the less they're going to get in trouble. You know, we live in a state with 18 million people, and we still have bears and panthers. That's just amazing and that, um, you know, there's still wild places and wild things left in Florida, just uh, that no other place has. And so that's one of the cool things about this expedition. It highlights those connections and quarters, and Florida black bear is a poster child for maintaining those connections and maintaining habitat that they can move through.